M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at a two-in-one Bluetooth and Wi-Fi adapter. The reason I purchased this, and we're taking out the box now, is I actually needed Bluetooth, not Wi-Fi, okay? I was looking for a Bluetooth adapter because I'm going to do some videos today using my Kenwood D74 connected to my PC and programming it, and that's the reason I wanted to show that you can wirelessly program uh, the D74 basically without having to use a USB cable and um, with the new D75 coming out um, I just really I'm getting myself ready for when that radio arrives which I which of course I will be getting and doing lots of videos on so I put I purchased this it's called the AC 1300 dual band I haven't even used it yet I've literally just taken it out of the box now Let's see if we can get some focus on here and I'm plugging it into my USB connector here. I hear my, I did hear my PC going off. It's flashing away. And let's see if we can get any Bluetooth. Yes, instantly my PC has found Bluetooth. As you can see there, there is a CD with this device. So I'll probably just try and download that from, from the, you know, from the web rather than use the CD, although I do have one. And then you've got instructions here. And then you could have a nice shortcut for your Bluetooth device. Now I'm just going to check the Wi-Fi. So if we click down here, and look, we've now got Wi-Fi. Okay, and we can put in our password. So that's it is working as a dual Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And uh, so yeah, quite pleased with that because normally I have got a little Bluetooth, a very small Bluetooth sender, and of course Wi-Fi. But I keep losing them, especially the Bluetooth ones, because I don't use Bluetooth really that often. And as you can see, uh, that's flashing away nicely. It actually looks really nice. I'm not going to lose that plugged into my PC. So, yeah, completely happy with that. I've, I've grabbed this Bluetooth speaker here, which I've just turned on. And they're only a few pounds. I put a little adapter in so I can charge it up with my USB-C cable. So the next thing I'll do is just try and pair the speaker to my speaker, uh, to my computer audio. These are the, the specifications, if anyone's interested. Okay. BT 5.0. Wi-Fi has five gigahertz and 2.4, which is what sort currently you get. Windows XP all the way through that's good news these are the speeds so if you put it in a usb 3 the blue one it's going to work better i have decided to dig out my little dvd player it works really well actually don't use it that often but when i do i'm glad i've got it there's just two usbs and then you use it in the normal way so we'll run the CD player. Okay, let's let's go to the the PC now. At the PC, let's right click. Let's put in the search bar here at the bottom. So I'm Windows 11. We're just going to type in the word blue. Okay, and you'll see that it says Bluetooth and other devices. Okay, we'll click that. So this is our Bluetooth, and it's already turned on. Let's just turn it off. Okay. And so let's turn it on. And it's saying that the name that it will be is called M0FXB Andrea for now. So let's try and connect a couple of devices. We'll go add device. We're going to turn on that speaker I've got. And we will also select Bluetooth here. Turn on the speaker. I'm also going to turn on the Bluetooth on my Kenwood D74. I know you can't see it, but it's menu. Okay, we've got it here, let's have a go. So we go menu, move the cog to the bottom right, select enter, go down to Bluetooth, enter, Bluetooth, and we're gonna go on, okay? And that hopefully that's now going to appear on, it says pixel service, finding my pixel. 
It's found in that, it's found that speaker. Should we add that one first? See it here, MT Audio. So if it beeps, there you are, hear that beep? So now in theory, if we go back to one of my videos, we should hear the audio coming from this tiny little device, which I will put um, just here, like so. For now, we'll keep, we're gonna keep trying to pair my Kenwood as well, which is a fantastic little device. But let's see if this audio comes from there. So we'll go to a YouTube video. Right, let's just go to this YouTube video by this ham tech guy. M0FXV, welcome to my channel, Digital Ham Radio Diary. There you are. So that's working straight away. Excellent. So now we'll go back to the Kenwood and we're gonna have a go at we just want to pair it. So it says here device search or connect. So let's try connect. No, we don't want Pixel 7. Device search. And what we're actually looking for is the thing that says M0 FXB Andreas. So that's the next. We'll keep searching a minute. At the moment, it's not showing. So what we're going to do now is go into pairing mode. And it should send something out. So we'll go back to my Windows program. I'm going to click Add Device. And what I love about the Kenwood D74 is that you can actually program it using Bluetooth. And that's pretty cool. So Add Device. And we want Kenwood D74 to show up here. Just be patient. I've done this before. It does work. It's not finding it. I'm going to turn off the turn off the little speaker and see if, if that helps. If you look at my phone, it's you know D THD74 showing up on my phone. It's possible that this particular Bluetooth device, the type of Bluetooth, doesn't work with the D74, but my phone's picking up the D74 straight away. Alright, it's it's not working with the Kenwood at the moment. The Kenwood is doing is sending out, I can pair it with everything else, but I can't pair it. The Bluetooth device is working with everything in this house, my fire stick, my TV, it's all I can see it, it's all it's, it's working great. It's literally just it's whether the Kenwood type uh, Bluetooth is working with this this particular device. Okay, and hey presto, there it is. <laughs> as soon as I say that. It's now trying to connect. Saying give me two four six four four three. So at least we know it. it might not connect this one time, but at least we now know that it wants to connect. Right, try it again. It now wants me to put the pin into my into my radio, which is the one three zero six two three, which is showing on my D seventy four. So I just pressed OK and it's flashing adding now. Okay, it didn't add, but we are getting there. It's definitely found it that time. Let's try again. Bluetooth. Let's wait for the THD74 to show up. We go back into the menu. We back out all together. Go over to the cog, select Bluetooth is on. There's the on, down to pairing mode. So it's, it's flashing away. This is how I found it last time. There it is there on the screen. Click connect and then it gives code. And then as far as I know, I just click connect and then OK. Now it says pairing completed. So. The next test is to just see if I can talk, I can download from it to my programming software. Now you do have to go in, you come out, click OK. So we're definitely paired now. So you go menu, you have to go to some settings and you have to tell it to use Bluetooth. But the good news is it says THD74 paired, done. 
I might actually, before I forget, tell it to auto pair. Let's go menu, set, back to Bluetooth. Yeah, auto connect is on. That's good news. We'll go menu, go to settings, select settings, go down, you can go up and down to interface. Select it. And then see where it says USB function. Turn it on. And we'll go down one. See the way you got GPS output. I'm going to do them all to Bluetooth because I plan on doing lots of Bluetooth. So turn it down. You press the middle enter, select Bluetooth, and then go down middle enter. That's APRS Bluetooth. Kiss, press Bluetooth. So I'm basically turning everything to Bluetooth. USB function. I'm not sure if it will let me do that one. It's you saying COM and AF and IF output, so I'll leave that there for now. That's all Bluetooth, so we can go menu to back out, click OK. If we right click my device manager, right click these the Windows squares, device manager, and double click ports go up higher Bluetooth and you'll see that it actually says Kenwood D74 there okay well that's good news fired up the Kenwood software and we're getting this option here to select a COM port now we've not added a cable so this is the bit that we need to uh, think about, but at the moment I just clicked OK. And then we're going to try, and, the next thing is to learn how to read and write using Bluetooth. Now my memory is that we have to put the radio into data mode. So you go menu, now put, put it into digital. So in, when you're in VFO mode, press menu, the digital. Now go F, F menu and you're in the digital now see the way it says here voice and data just there hopefully you can see that just here in the middle press it and now at the top it says data and we are showing that the 74 is still paired if we right click our window again device manager now double click ports because we've turned on that data we've got two numbers we can choose from now 32 or 33 we've got the drop down here we've got th let's try 32 and then we'll close it and we'll read see if that one works so you've got read and write okay so read and if that one fails we'll try 33 okay let's try the other one so COM port, 33, close, and then we'll try again, read. So not quite yet, but we, we're getting the, a feel for how this is going to work. Okay, we didn't read that, but that's okay. Let's try this one now. We've got radio. This is the one that, where you can use the HF mode. Connect. Settings, let's have a look at the COM ports here. We've got 32 or 33, click OK. Let's see if it just connects. Oh, well that has worked. So I wonder why it wouldn't work on the, on the other one. Let's try and get a frequency in there. This is 7, 1. And I literally haven't used this for years. The mode, the mode of data is, is in IF output mode, so we need to change this. So we'll disconnect, choose AF, AF up here, connect. 
See if that one works. No, so let's disconnect again. Click the bottom one. All right, that's not working like that. So let's just click connect again. At least we know it's working via Bluetooth. That sounds more like ham radio. Let me get an antenna on there. You've got a signal meter. Antenna on there. And you do need to select you're going to use the external antenna, not the internal antenna. Right, let's have a look. So LSB. Turn it up. Got my wire on there. I can hear some activity. Step frequency here. Fine tune. Let's try a couple of these filters. Let's change the step. Pretty good though, isn't it? Um, I think that's the wrong step. We want it as small as pos. So, where's the fine? I saw fine somewhere. There you go. We're out of band there. Quite a lot of. background noise you can change see the mouse here course and mind. remember the Kenwood D75 will do this not sure what auto zapping means and this frequency list oh oh you can import Just see if I can show you how to select the antenna and then we'll end the video. So we'll go menu, settings, RX, and then go down to see antenna. It says the antenna connector, press it, and you can choose either bar antenna. I choose that. Click OK or antenna connector. Click OK. Back out. So that's how you select antennas. So I think we'll end it there. I think we've had a few results there. We've got it working with this frequency control program on the D74. We've connected the speaker, we've connected it to our PC. The Wi-Fi adapter is working with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And then I'll say that we'll disconnect now. And we're gonna cut, you know, I don't really know why it hasn't. If we go to settings, tool settings, it's COM32. Don't really know why it won't it wouldn't let me read. Just try one last time. Go set up. It's COM32 worked on that one. Tools COM32. Close. And then we'll try read. I will try a reboot as well, because that might help. It's, tr it's definitely trying to. It's saying that the comms unavailable. When you look at the com, right click device manager or properties actually. Right click properties, port setting, C 
could be the board rate, could be that, advance, and it could actually be the number. So we're very close. So we're just going to read the manual and see if we can get it to read and write using the programming software. But otherwise, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.